Yeah. One more two. This is what's going on. This is definitely a type of um, harassment, you know? Yeah, this is what's going on, you know? And probably this is enough for uh, talking to a lawyer here. Life can be. Also known as psychological harassment or emotional abuse, bullying involves the conscious repeated effort to wound and destroy another person, not with violence, but with words and actions. Bullying damages the physical, emotional and mental health of the person who is targeted. When it happens in the workplace, victims are often left hopeless, needing to continue to work, but unable to cope with the abuse being heaped at them. Tragically, some the whole field of psychiatry has gotten into every facet of your life. They basically believe that everyone is mentally ill. You smoke too much, it's a disease. If you are too unhappy, it's a disease. If you're too thin, it's a disease. If you're too fat, it's a disease. Where are these coming from? These are coming from the minds of psychiatrists that are dreaming these things up, writing papers and, get, and getting published with their names on it, calling, creating these new diseases. First he said that I had ADD, then he said that I was depressed, then he said I might be bipolar, but I don't have ADD anymore. And he said, you know, I've been noticing you and I, I wonder if you have it too. What they decided is that both my husband and my son had a chemical imbalance that needed to be corrected with a chemical balancer. There is not one shred of credible evidence that any respectable scientist would consider valid demonstrating that anything that psychiatrists call mental illness are brain diseases or biochemical imbalances. It's all fraud. There is no reliability of diagnosis and there is no science. It's just pseudoscience. It's pretend science. This is one of the most open secrets in all of America in the psychiatric field. That This psychiatrist man who's supposed to work to heal people has done nothing but destroy this man's life and in destroying his life destroying the lives of all of his loved ones excuse me they've damaged and ruined my son and they've trapped him in a system the way that they treated him and made him feel like he was worthless riot was being kept dumb and, and high on Rillin so that they could make $2,500 per month. He gave me Valium and um, I got addicted to it. It wiped out my life. My life has been ruined. Uh, my joy has been stolen. She was lying there. She took two, two gas of air and died right there in front of me. It is really tragic, it's awful, and it's being done for money, that's why it's being done. Oh, it's got to be in the billions. I don't know the exact number, but it's got to be in the billions. It's, it's just unbelievable. This is so big that it's, it buckles the mind. Take the human tragedy you have just seen and multiply it by the millions. In the past four decades, nearly twice as many Americans have died in... And there is, um, there are hundreds of videos on YouTube with thousands of them showing similar activity from all over the world. I don't know most of the people who are, uh, or actually any of the people who are posting the video, um, which suggests that we can't all be paranoid crazy and making this stuff up. That it is happening. And governments need to recognize that they've, um, the train is off the, has come off the rails. Social media has made it nearly impossible for them to engage in this activity without being exposed. And that the criminals who are involved need to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of 
the laws of the land in which they are located. And in America, there are specific types of laws that can be used, and they should be exposed publicly, made to do the perp walk, have to sit before Congress, and spend time in prison for this activity, because it is illegal. And it's very clearly been outlawed. Those laws have not been overturned. New laws enacted to counteract them do not negate the laws that are on the books. And this is unconstitutional as well. Later, an unmarked truck with lights flashing pulled someone over in front of my home. I went out and the truck had Tennessee tags. The LMPD and professional standards denied that it was an LMPD truck because it had Tennessee tags. When I told them I got the license number and I took pictures, I was then told it was a flex vehicle from for the second division. But they did not know who was driving it. The LMPD have tried to make me look like a mental patient to cover up the crimes. A neighbor tried to report four of their officers bamming on my door to professional standards. My neighbor stated, Connie, I tried to tell her about the police bamming on your door. She did not want to hear that. She asked me if you had mental problems. A friend and I were getting in my car and she was taken aside and the officer asked her if I was all right up there as he pointed to his head. The same officer later told my friend and I that I was redlined. This is a discriminatory term. My daughter stated, Mom, remember when we had those differences about the children? A police officer stated, your mom is very intelligent, but you should take a mental inquest warrant out on her. For all these reasons and more, I will be protesting in front of the Louisville Metro Police Department at 633 West Jefferson Street every Monday from 11.30 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. And we were just there this past Monday and got thumbs up from professionals and average citizens.